I'm Charlie Knights, uh, and today we're going to be bringing you all the latest from the Society's Fair. We'll be joined by um, the president of Act One, um, and we're going to be talking to you about more of the club nights that have been on and what you've got to look forward to over the next few uh, days. Um, it's kind of been a bit hectic here um, over the last few days with the sports fair yesterday and uh, everybody pushing for the free pizza um, or free food on any stands that you can find and trying to get people just to stop and sign up is a bit of an issue. Uh, anybody that's been there before knows just how packed and crowded those can be. At the moment we're going to go to our first informational video. We recorded this um, a couple of nights ago um, when we went into film a club night um, and we discovered that volunteering have set up a safe walk scheme making sure that students get home safe from the club. It doesn't even matter if they're 
not drunk or anything like that. Just as long as they don't feel comfortable walking home alone, they will be looked after and provided for. Hi there. So can you explain to us what you're doing tonight and what your scheme is? Yeah, so the aim of our scheme is to just help out to keep students safe on a night out. So if we find anyone who is in, in a bit of a state who needs our help, uh, we just offer it to them and hopefully get them home safe or help to get them ho home safe, that is. Amazing. And how did this whole thing come about? Well, it came about last year when we had, unfortunately, the run of sexual attacks that happened in the area. And personally, from what I saw, I saw that there wasn't particularly enough being done to counter it. So after doing my own research um, of schemes like this back in um, other places in England, I found that it's not, it's, this isn't a new idea, and the fact it hasn't been done in Cardiff before was a bit of a surprise to me. So that's when I went to the SU to suggest the idea, and it's, everything's history from there, really. Okay, so what is it about Safety Walk that sets you What they've done is given all of our members first aid training and conflict management training as well, which has been absolutely amazing. We've been given a bunch of kits as well, such as first aid kits, water, um, and other such equipment, which has just been fundamental to our way of operating here. Also, the police have um, come on board a little bit by lending us some of their radios as well, um, which has allowed us to keep in touch with all of our volunteers um, around Cardiff. Amazing. So if someone wanted to get involved, how would they go about that? If someone wants to get involved, um, they can simply look us up on Facebook, um, Student Safety Walk Scheme. From there, you can find a link to our page where you can just simply send off, off a form of an application. And from there, student volunteering will be in touch with you from there, really. Great. So what's your goal for Freshers 2016? Oh, boy. Um, in terms of a goal, we don't really have a set goal. I mean, to me, it's like as long as, long as we help one person, at least, then it's, that's worth it, really. Um, but we've already done that tonight, so, so, so really, it's just, it's just going on from there, really. Um, just helping out as many people as we can um, get home safely and for everyone to have a safe and enjoyable night out. Okay, fabulous. Well, good luck with everything, and thank you very much. And we're back. So that was the uh, Safe Walk um, scheme, which looks like a really, really great initiative. And well done to all of the volunteers who are putting in countless hours at the moment uh, to sort of manage that. Yeah, great job they're doing. Indeed, indeed. So now we are joined by James and Emily uh, from Act One. So guys, do you want to just introduce yourselves? Tell us what's going on. So I'm James, I'm the president. Um, we are Carla's Biggest Drama Society, and this year we have five productions so far. One of them was written by Emily, our secretary. Just introduce me, why not? Um, yeah, I'm Emily Broad. I'm the, uh, um, what am I? The secretary. I'm the secretary of the <laughs> Drama Society this year. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's so busy downstairs, I've just forgotten what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've also written the pantomime, but there are lots of other shows going mm -hmm. on, aren't there, James? Do you yes, wanna... So we have everything natural, from pantomime natural. to musical to Jacobean to classic drama, like Picture of Dorian Gray or Little Prince, which is a French book which was adapted into a play. But yeah, we've also got lots of other things we do throughout the year, like we've got Hardcore 24 coming soon, yeah. which is where we are. Uh, well, basically, it's a test to see if you can get a group of people together and write, direct, and perform in 24 hours. Okay. So, about 20 wow. people get together, and you've done it before, haven't you? I've done it twice. Yeah. Um, I must admit, it gets to that point. 4 a.m. is the push point. Yeah. 4 a.m. is when you're sat in, a, sat in a stool in your your mate's kitchen with 20 people around you trying to stay awake, trying to like perform, and you're just sat there like, I just can't do this anymore. And then someone walks across and says the word bum, and you just lose yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. That but sounds absolutely it, it. it actually is a bit crazy. I would I feel thor thoroughly recommend, like, if yeah. you don't get, um, we have auditions. Um, actually, James, when are auditions? Set, tell the people. Our auditions are on the 7th to the 9th of October. He thinks, um, yeah, but if you, uh, if you sign up um, to Act One on the um, Union page, there'll be information, I think, about... Yeah, there's information about everything on the... Yeah, and all the auditions page. and stuff, oh. you can, like, find out when they are and where they are. And, uh, yeah, come along. And uh, even if you don't get cast, there are also crew sign-ups, which are fantastic. So if you are interested in set design, costume, makeup... Um, what's the other one? Sound, Sound lighting. lighting. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're big ones. Um, 
great great fun um you can sign up for those as well and if you don't fancy that we have loads of little mini shows throughout the year um that are yet to be announced that you can audition for as well which is really nice yeah we have lots of shows upcoming well i'm sure we will have lots of shows upcoming. we hope yeah. we hope um, given them to us yet <laughs> but in december we'll have lots of new shows and then we also normally take shows to edinburgh we've had two for the last two years which have been very well received and we also have an annual trip. Um, mm -hmm. Last year we went to Berlin, and the year before we went to Prague, and it's um, quite a fun time. Quite yeah. fun. It's interesting uh, how many people usually, it's about 60, 70. Yeah, about 60 people coming. Yeah, and the bus journeys are usually about 19 hours long. Um, wow. So again, it's we look, sure. yeah, Act 1 spend a lot of time with each other. So yeah, if, you can't, yeah, yeah. if you can't handle people, yeah. then uh, you, are, you are not for us. Um, but anyone else, like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we do tend to bring people out of their shells quite Oh, absolutely. Quickly. We get quite a few people who yeah. are quite shy, reserved, and they spend an evening with us, and by the end you're like, who is that crazy person in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how many sort of members uh, does uh, is Act 1 at the moment? Oh. So I can't say how many yeah, yeah. at the moment, because it's probably like 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've just started. Up. But usually we have about 200 members mm -hmm. sign up, and then we have about 120 to 150 active members. Yeah. So people who are like, basically, I would describe it as when you're in school and you have a school year and you know every single person intimately. Yeah. And because we have all our own socials private, we like rent out venues, have our own DJs and have our own photographers and yeah. everything like that. It is basically like being in a s small community or like a, like a school year where yeah. you just know everyone and go to a public every weekend in massive group, so... Yeah. Definitely. Well, there we go. Um, so, Act 1 seems like a huge um, way to get involved, because as you were saying, there is so many ways uh, to get involved. It's much ...some sound and tech um, for Act 1 this year, and it was really actually really enjoyable you don't expect it to be you expect like the, all the acting to be like the most fun but it's no but yeah. back to, I, and I ventured into the world of crew last year yeah. I did Emily yeah. and I've never done it before and I had a blast of the time yeah. exactly what's really nice about crew as well is that um if you have never done any crew before, it doesn't matter because yeah. you yeah. you get taught by people who are more experienced and you learn so much along the way like I mean I I'd never set designed anything and last year I did the set for an entire show it involved 200 square oh, meters of curtains set. yeah yeah, yeah. yes yes we won was an award the animal for the farm? best set that yeah. was animal yeah. farm yeah oh, wow. um, and, and things like that and also um, a few people downstairs have been coming up to us going oh um, I don't study drama I've never studied drama you don't have don't. to we are an amateur mm. well amateur as such uh, drama society yeah. and uh, it, it's just for, for anyone who just enjoys theatre or just exactly. enjoys being part of a community really because yeah. that's what we are isn't it I mean I feel like I'll uh, jump onto that whole whole crew thing there. I feel like a lot of the times people can overlook the crew. Yeah. In a sense, yeah. But in Act One, I mean as I'm sure you know, that doesn't happen. Like no, no, no. the crew come to like most of the rehearsals and you wouldn't really differentiate dif didn't say that word <laughs> But I'm not gonna try and do it again because I probably will fail again. Yeah, they're based you wouldn't no differentiate or oh, I went there. Between <laughs> the cast and the crew, it'd just be like a member of the yeah. cast like a member of the cast and like know about like publicity is great that's my favorite thing and i got involved in that this year but publicity like costume making like it's great fun just a anything you could think of really mm. like oh it sounds good yeah because it's organizing all things like uh reviews and yeah. coming on uh, exactly. our sister radio station and things like department last year made an advert for you guys yeah. and all of that kind of stuff so like um which i'm sure we'll be building up a lot more um later on and you guys mentioned uh, briefly about the animal farm and winning an award uh, so obviously that's a uh, the ball at the end of the year i've got yes. one award sitting on my shelf at home so, um I yeah, which is awesome they're very nice um so do you guys just want to explain a bit about what that is and things like that what can people look forward to at the end of the year um so every single year we have the act one ball in which case uh, we ought to get get together as a celebration of all of the performances and cast and crew that we've had. Um, it usually involves lots of free wine and most people can't remember it, but 
Uh, the bit that everyone does like to remember is we have awards in which um, everyone in the society has the opportunity to vote um, for who they thought were best in different categories. For example, um, best leading female, um, best comedic male, um, best set, best lighting, best tech, all of that sort of thing. Best script, because we have a lot of people who do original writing, uh, such as myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, and we have lots of original writing as well. Like um, we, it, It's really a celebration to just mm. embrace everyone's efforts um and also our progress as well because yeah. i think everyone learns something yeah. throughout the year don't you? Mm. we're all developing as like actors or whatever and it's just really nice and also i think the nice thing about the awards is the range of awards so you have obviously like the best lead but then you also have things like the stanislavski award which is an award for someone in a small part but who made the show so like someone who stood out in a small part and like best supporting and best everything really and it just gives everyone a chance to be rewarded for their hard work and it, as you said it looks really nice and yeah. it's framed with everyone gosh like, oh I got an award oh, oh. Mm. and yeah it's just really great and also what is really nice about our ball which I think like I discovered in the last two years is the venue we hosted at because we have Michigan yeah. style food we do the food was amazing delicious. <laughs> really, really mind good. you last year cool. someone ate my starter I turned up late and my director had eaten my starter. I was not impressed, so I ate his right. pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've definitely eaten someone's pudding that one. But I got their permission, I think. Yeah. I can't. That's fine. Who knows? That's fine. Who knows? But yeah, no, it's, remember, so. it's, all, it's all a good jolly. Actually, to be honest with you, like, even if, I mean, even if you don't want to like, act, crew, or, or write, or do anything, just join Act One because we're just really fun. Like, we just go out <laughs> all the time. We've like, actually had members who have just come to our social media. Yeah, and, and, and just <laughs> don't do anything. I don't have time for the commitment to drama, but I love the social Yeah, so, like, so I'm gonna just going to pop along. Socials are good. Yeah. They're really good. Um, exactly. And uh, just on uh, a last point and kind of a different one, um, Emily, a couple of years back, you were in my position, really, and things like that, weren't you doing the presenting on these live streams and well, parts of TV? Well, I didn't. Well, no, I'm, I'm more did like runners. I went on your thing but yeah. as a comedy society person. Yeah. But I used to do like Express and all that sort of thing. Basically, I think, are you trying to have a bit of a sort of like share advertisement thing? Because I yeah, can totally oh, do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah Basically, <laughs> if you like um, acting or drama or anything, joining student media is fantastic. Because your, uh, your voice and projection. And also with TV and stuff, you guys do loads of, you usually are. Uh, Starting a few um, sort of uh, more entertainment pieces like uh, we're doing a cooking show this year. Uh, we've got a new sports show coming out. Uh, we've got news and documentaries and music and festivals that we go to and pretty much anything and things like that. So if you are interested in outing, it's another one that you can join and get involved in all the production and crew and things like that. I'm sure it's because like uh, four people, five uh, of the exec board uh, are members of Act One uh, this year. Yeah, no, I, what I think is really nice is how how strong links have been forming between yeah. Act One and all like the media based societies in the last few years. Like there's always something being offered to us. Like the, you, if you guys want a chance to come out, come and act in our thing or yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, like there's a yeah. post like once every few weeks, probably yeah. literally, and it's really nice to be able to have those links and you know be able to help each other out on things mm -hmm. and just. A collective, a yes. drama performance collective. That's pretty much it, which is great fun. And uh, it seems to be working out in everyone's favour, yeah. uh, I think so. Cool. Which is great. Well, thanks for having us on. Uh, thanks for coming on, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Having yeah, us on. Yeah, yeah, I feel so like we've, we've been, been the guests. Been, been the guest. But it's You're good. Well good. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you guys in your red t-shirts. I feel we've definitely, like, vibing off Do you want to just go downstairs and we'll take over? Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> any excuse yes. to back, get back in front of camera, isn't it, Emily? Absolutely. She just wants the limelight. What can I say? It's classic union tv or with the hashtag hashtag cutv freshers um and now we're going to move on to our next clip uh, which is for those of you that missed it on monday the volunteering fair was happening down in the great uh, in the great hall and there was loads of volunteering societies out there we sent along a camera crew to get involved with them and find out a bit more information of what's going on hi i'm liz for cutv and today we're at the great hall for volunteers fair let's go and see what people have signed up to
So we're here at Volunteers Fair with student friends of the dogs. So um, that sounds a little bit crazy, but like really interesting. And they've got some like cute, cuddly dogs over there. So um, like, can we just ask you what um, what student friends of the dogs is and what you do for the union? Uh, yeah, sure. It's a volunteering run scheme. Um, so what we do essentially is we take a busload of students from just outside the SU, take them to um, Friends of the Dogs, uh, their shelter, which is just in Penarth. Um, and for a couple of hours, the students kind of uh, take the dogs out and help generally just about the shelter. Um, then we bring them all back. So it's every Wednesday. Um, it's, it's, um, we, we do have a give it a go session as well. So it starts with kind of um, a single event and we kind of get the interest and the people kind of go on from there. Okay, that's really good. Um, and so, um, like, have you had much interest in it today? Yeah, definitely. People will see the dogs and they absolutely love it. Yeah. It's, um, I think it's probably one of our most successful sign-ups so far, so it's really good to see. So we're here with Global Opportunities. Um, what do you have at the university? So um, we've been set up to, uh, to help get as many undergraduate students um, on an international experience as possible during their time at Cardiff. So we've got um, study abroad as part of your degree, and we've also got international summer programmes. So quite a lot going on. Okay, that's really cool. And um, you've just taken um, some time out in Europe. Um, so how, what was your experience like, and how did you think it like benefited your degree? Well, I studied journalism, TV journalism, in Denmark for uh, the spring semester. And uh, I study journalism here in Cardiff, and I think that having a more practical course in a country that isn't an English-speaking country and is you're on a course with people from Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Hong Kong, uh, America, Canada, it's all these different cultural aspects that you may not be aware of studying in the UK as I'm from the UK. Um, so the practicality of actually going out there with a camera, being more hands-on and learning about different cultures and having to negotiate and learn yeah. alongside people that may. So, so if you miss Volunteers Fair today, there's Freshers Fair on Wednesday and Thursday, so get down there and get signed up to anything else. And that was Liz reporting from the Volunteering Fair on Monday, uh, which was really, really great fun. You didn't manage to make it to No, I did didn't, you? actually. It was my birthday on Sunday. So yeah, so I that's... I didn't make it. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't I think you got out of bed till I five. otherwise preoccupied. <laughs> um, but the Volunteering Fair was fantastic. There's so many volunteering opportunities here at Cardiff that you can get involved with. Uh, just come find them on the second floor of the Union. Just go straight through reception, yeah. through the doors at the end, turn left, and they're right ahead of you, always in orange um, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, well... Uh, housemate from last year is volunteering with the police this year. Yeah, that's true. One so, of our housemates is volunteering with the police. Literally um, anything. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really worth it, and it's so much, uh, so much fun. Some of the options available. Um, but yeah, and uh, thank you very much uh, to our. To there, seen like oh a lot my. Of fun. <laughs> We really were just the guests <laughs> yeah, for we a were, while, we were weren't we? Just we? Spectating those two bouncing off each other. It's really. It's uh, utterly mental. <laughs> uh, yeah, really? Really? really. Can I really. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, remember, yeah. if you are watching uh, today and you feel like wandering over to the Union, you can find us and Act One running stalls um, downstairs uh, in the Great Hall. Yes. Um, there, it is so packed down there. Where, yeah, when I ran up to do this yeah. stream, it was just picking up and... Uh, I was swimming through a sea of people mm. to try and get up here. <laughs> and we're there all the way up until, I believe it's either four or five today, so come along and find yeah. us and um, <laughs> get know. involved. Um, it's uh, There's so much you can do here at Cardiff. So, and much, you can, so much. It's mad. I mean, we're next to uh, the Palestine Society and refugees, and then next up is like Photo uh, photo Society. Yeah, around and, the corner. Uh, like acapella, acapella and Act yeah. One around the corner. And like the volunteering people are over there as well, who you can come talk to again. Yeah, um, there's lots of course-based ones as well. So I know yeah. there's journalism there. Oh yeah, society. journalism. Some of the course-based ones are absolutely massive. Yeah. Um, and if you guys are actually based closer to the Heath, there is also the Heath Fair going on today, um, which is definitely worth checking out, especially if you're up in that direction, because um, it's not all like there's a lot of the like medics teams and things mm. like that, like medics rugby, um, but there is also. Um, uh, things like I think dance sports up there and stuff. Oh, so, right, okay. Yeah, really, really I cool. Know that. Um, however, there's been a um, oh, yeah. little bit of controversy downstairs uh, at the moment. 
What? What, what? controversy? Why, I know. Harsh reporting coming straight at you, right? 13 societies have not shown up. <gasps> We're down there, though. We're down there, though, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> and you can uh, find out all of the information for other societies any, uh, otherwise on cardiffstudents.com. Indeed. Right, so I'd go straight to a club night that we filmed. Yeah, we later filmed. On this week. Yeah, we just had a sending a quick camera crew just to have fun, dance around a bit, and uh, yeah. We have the relaunch of Young Sports Societies. And on Saturday and Wednesday nights, uh, called Clubhouse. It'll be cheaper drinks and more of a party atmosphere over in the TAF to encourage us to you know, come over there for a few pre drinks before you That's go in. That's great, yeah. Like that. I'd, I'd really enjoy that. I mean, we love the TAF. So good. So good. It's like my home. It pretty much is. And then tomorrow you've got the pub quiz launch. We will be down there. Oh, absolutely killing it. Uh, um, actually. Actually, that is. <coughs> so um, we are. it works. Basically, prices of all your drinks will fluctuate throughout the night, depending on how often they are. And then every so often, you get a stock market crash and prices fall like no tomorrow. The most exciting thing it is, I've, if I've you ever get to experienced. The, if you, you, there will be one beautiful moment where you get to the front and suddenly Foster's is like 90p. <laughs> I'll have okay, sorry, a front house party. Yeah, uh, Saturday night, we've got the launch of our brand new club night here at the Union. That's Jeez. Juice coming at you. It used to be called Flux, uh, and before that, it was called something else ages ago. But um, it's uh, another name change, and we're back with Juice, run by the Paradise Company. It's going to be such an amazing night. Uh, yeah. CUTV will be filming there. Yeah, please come and say, hi. And say um, hi. And finally, on Sunday, we will have the Freshers Carnival Ball. Uh, so for any of you Freshers, I'm sure you've got your tickets. If you don't, get them quick, because it's going to be a massive night. Um, KTB and DJ Fresh are playing. I oh. cannot. Uh, so we expect to see you in all your finer. Um, and yeah, that'd be great fun. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to the ball, aren't you? I am going to the ball. Yeah, I'm going to uh, just the perks. It's just because you want it. Just because you want it. DJ I, Fresh. I really want to see KTB actually. Um, that's 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 what I'm going for. Um, by I which I mean to continue this journalistic integrity and continue to film and represent the students' union. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, they, I think that's yeah, uh, all of yeah, it for today. Yeah. Uh, I've been Charlie Knight. How, that was so well put. I'm Charlie Edmonds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will be back live from 12 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you do come and see us at any of the events, please come and say hello. Thank you very much. Thank you.